detective this, at the center of this 10 hour crime spree was found dead this morning on Detroit's east side. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith picks up the big story where the suspect made his last stand. You're taking a look at the garage or possibly shed where the barricaded gunman had holed himself up for hours against police. And police tell me they tried to bring this to a peaceful closure, but eventually they saw that gun, they saw that man, and shots were fired. It's unknown at this hour whether their shots killed the suspect or if he took his own life. But there are still a lot of details to piece through and figure out what in the world led to this violent, nearly 12-hour-long crime spree. He woke up and jumped on the ground. And by the time I looked out the window, I seen a couple of cop cars out here and stuff, and I was like, well, what's going on? Lavelle Davis woke up to gunshots. Outside his door, police in full tactical gear, roads blocked. I'm told investigators tracked a carjacked getaway car to this location. That's when the suspect opened fire on undercover officers, causing him to hole up just off of Gratiot near Bradford. I didn't know what was going on. Police have been tracking the suspected gunman, ID'd by families Ali Ferris, since 9 o'clock in Canton. There a woman was shot and a car stolen. That led to a crash and a second carjacking in Northville. That driver kidnapped but eventually released. One of the stolen cars ended up on the west side, but it was the east side. Where shots finished up this nearly 12 hour ordeal. Ferris's niece telling me none of this makes sense. I'm stuck just like everybody else. I don't know nothing. I just got a phone call said the state troopers killed my uncle. Police similarly are trying to understand how this unfolded. Family obviously shaken up. Don't expect to ever understand how it got to this. He was a cool uncle. He was loving. He was a sweetheart. You know, he 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 was like our Superman in our family. If we had a problem, I know he had come through. He he was like my Mr. Untouchable. For Seven Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.